Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, this is the other one I'd already done, along with the Lake Lamode one that needed re-recording because the audio messed up. So I already know what I'm going to be doing, um, and how I'm going to be doing it. So what I want to do is get all the moons I need from, from here without doing any of the story, because the story moons lock off a lot of the, this kingdom. Uh, if you take a look here, um, there's a story moon basically, yeah, here which locks off this whole area. Uh, and getting that moon unlocks uh, this area up here on top of these platforms. And getting, and that gets you up to, up to the top part here. And there's another moon there. And basically you can't get to a lot of places without doing all the moons, like the story moons to unlock them. Uh, however, there is a bit of a workaround, uh, which is going down there into the deep woods area. I think that makes it a bit too easy because the deep woods isn't affected by story progression, so I'm not going to go to the deep woods. I'm going to try to get all 16 moons we need here without getting any of the story moons or going to the deep woods. <laughs> uh, I already know I can do it because I did it previously, but... Uh, so the first thing we actually want to do is leave the kingdom, oddly enough. Uh, if we look around on one of these trees, uh, there's this hint art here. You can see it's showing Tostarina. That means we basically have to go back to that spot in Tostarina and we can get a moon that counts towards this kingdom if we go to the right spot. So we're going to do that uh, first. We, we could do it last, but I, I think it's better to do it first and just cash in all the moons at once instead of have to cash in that one moon by itself at the end, which is what happened the first time I did this. Uh, annoyingly, you get a little travel tip every time you move. Uh, between kingdoms until you've complete the story. I always forget about that because I don't travel too much between kingdoms before completing the story. Because the story's pretty short. Um, uh, yeah, we didn't do any story here. Uh, so yeah, um, from the hint, you saw it was like a little red Cooper wearing a, wearing a sombrero. That's what they're called, right? Yes, sombrero. <laughs> Uh, the Koopa that they were showing wearing the sombrero is actually that guy, Koopa Trace Walking. And it's said to go north from there. Uh, so we're going to go where the Cooper is. And we want to travel north from there, which is basically this direction. And we actually have to go quite a long way north, like more than you might expect. Uh, you have to get pretty much to the far end of the, of the kingdom. To actually get the hint out. You'd think it'd be a bit closer, but it's not. It's it's quite far. Oh, I believe it's this one. You see there's two little bushes here? Yeah, it's these bushes. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Uh, that, you can see that didn't get clicked into our list of moons. That's because we haven't done the story yet. So hint arts only show up in the kingdom that they're actually supposed to be in. Um, and you can't cash them in in the wrong kingdom. You can once you finish the story and then they change picture and stuff. It's weird. Anyway, uh, that's the first step done. We have one moon now. Uh, we could actually buy a moon from the shop. Although we don't have enough money because I kind of went for a bit of a low money run here. Uh... But we're not going to do that either, because, again, I think that's kind of circumventing the challenge a little bit. Uh, instead, we're going to arrive here, back in the Wooded Kingdom, and we're just going to go around and grab some moons. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is look for a rock. It's a particular rock, it's this one over here. I'm going to pick that up and take it to the bunny. Like that. Bunny gives us a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, uh, you can do that without a rock, but the rock actually makes it much easier because the um, bunny knows to run away from Mario, but not to run away from the rock. Well, I think it's weird. It is definitely a trick a lot of speedrunners use for this kingdom and possibly others, but I think this is the only one that has the bunny and the rock right next to each other like that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Oh, maybe in, maybe Honey Loon Ridge has the same sort of thing going on. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, we've gotten those two moons. The next thing you're supposed to do is talk to that Sphinx to unlock that path. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go this way instead. Uh, we're going to skip that Sphinx entirely because Sphinx is uh, scary. Uh, we're going to head over here. 
Uh, this moon here, you can get it using an uproot, but I like to do it manually. I've done this a few times in the, during the experiment series, and you've probably got an idea of how much I mess it up, but how it's definitely doable, I just keep messing it up because I'm bad at video games. <laughs> but yeah, you just gotta do a couple of decent cap jumps in a row to get yourself up onto these little pl platforms. It's not too tricky. So if you're good at video games, you won't have any trouble, but I'm not. I'm bad at video games, so I have some trouble. There we go. Okay, then you just gotta do some uh, simple jumps and stuff here to just get that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's four moons. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is... Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of sequence breaking and go up there. Um, it's not too tricky, you can use a triple jump. I like to use a cappy roll jump here though. Just because it's easier. Uh, unless I mess it up like that, in which case it's harder. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is easier with uproots. This one, not really. You may as well just do a triple jump or a cappy roll jump. Uh, I'm not going to be using any uproots in this video, although there's several places. Oh, I might need to use one, actually. Hmm, we'll see. So here, uh, you're supposed to get up here after you've done two story moons. This whole area is un not really loaded yet. You can see it's completely empty. There should be Goombas here. There should be a bunch of moons here. Uh, none of that's loaded yet, so we can't do that. You also can't really get up there very easily. It is possible to get up there by doing a jump from over here. Uh, but I can't manage it. Uh, which is a bit annoying because there are several moons over there that would help us out a lot in this quest. But we're going to go this way instead. Um, because there is one moon we can get by going around here. Now a couple purple coins there that are kind of in the way, but it doesn't really matter. This would be very annoying if you were doing a coinless run, uh, because swinging on these things gives you lots of coins. But we're not, so that's okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's five moons. We probably should back out over here. Uh, then we're going to want to head this way. Just gonna jump back down here. There's a couple more moons in this area we can grab without too much trouble. Uh, there's a firebro here. I forget if the firebro has a purpose. I mean, you can capture it and use it like for some moons later on, but I don't think there's anything it does over here. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, I'm making good progress. Uh, next up, we're gonna go through this switch switch drawer over here. Uh, and then we want to climb up this way. You can use the upper if you want, but I'm not going to. Oops. No! This isn't like any kind of speed run, but it's still annoying if you mess up some stuff and it goes slower than normal. I don't need to capture this guy. Um, can you actually break that open? Oh yeah, you can. Cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's all we were doing up here, so I can ditch you now. Look in the water. Huh, this water's shallow enough that you're not dead. Interesting. Uh, I'll drop you in this water. There we go. Because <laughs> uh, we want to go in this pipe. There's a little sub area here we can do. Uh, we couldn't do this in the last experiment because the flora here is metal and we would not let touch metal. This time we can, so not a problem. Yeah, I tend to get hit by these fuzzies a lot. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> that gives us a nice heal up, which is good because we got hit. Uh, I'm probably going to get hit again by this next set of fuzzies because I have trouble here. Mario's swimming physics in this game are a little weird. 
ba da ba da ba da ba yeah. And we got both of them, there we go. Uh, head through this pipe here. Uh, there's one more moon we can get just around the corner here, so let's go grab it. Uh, what you're supposed to do to get this next one, you're actually supposed to get an uproot and use that to climb up, but we're not going to. Because you don't need to, you can just do a triple jump. Easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, we have ten, we need six more moons. Again, we're not going to the deep woods, so we can't easily grab the whole bunch of moons that's down there. Uh, that's not happening. <laughs> Instead, we'll be getting the next uh, minor moon over here. Here there's a little bit of like a capitalist challenge. It's not hard at all though. I'm not sure why they made it capitalist, because it doesn't really affect anything. Basically, you just gotta go in here and, and bap this fire bro on the head. It's pretty easy. See? Very easy. Uh, it means if you're trying to do coinless, you can't, because bapping enemies on the head gives you a coin, but... Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go get, go get Cappy again. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna climb up this area as though we're getting, gonna get the story moon, but obviously we're not gonna get the story moon. Uh, also, these plants will eat Cappy, so watch out for that. She doesn't deserve to get eaten, she's lovely. Uh, here you're supposed to use an uproot to go through that maze there, but you can actually just take a shortcut by just jumping over here. Uh, we do want to go through the maze a little bit though, because there's actually a power moon hidden in here as well, so... We're gonna just climb up here. I believe you have to use an uproot to go through this in the correct direction, uh, because that ledge we went past just there, you can't really get it high enough without using the uproot to push it up. Uh, anyway, what we're actually here for is this nut here, which has another power moon in it. Yeah! Okay, now we're going to do a quick warp, just to get ourselves back out here. So, um, this is where the first story moon normally is. What you're supposed to do is... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, there's one more minor moon we can get before we do this. Just a second. You just wait there, Piranha Plant. Uh, if we just come around here... There we go. You're supposed to use the uproot to get up there, but you don't have to. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There sure are a lot of moons hidden inside nuts everywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, well that's that done. Now we just jump over here. Okay, so this big plant here, that has the moon in it. We're gonna kill that plant, we're not gonna grab the moon because that's the first story moon and we promised we wouldn't grab that. Uh, we are gonna clean this area up a little bit just so it's a little less dangerous. There we go. Uh, so what we have to do here, we can't get that moon, which means we can't press that button that's behind it. Which means that to get up there, which we need to do, we have to use a bit of a trick instead. Uh, if we press that button, it would give us a flower path we could follow to get up there easily. Thankfully, there's a trick speedrunners use, uh, which you can use to get up there without having to actually get the moon. Uh, I believe they do get the moon, it's just faster to do this because flower paths are kind of slow. Uh... So I'm gonna give this a try. Um, I did manage to pull this off last time, so hopefully I can do it again. Basically you need to triple jump off the very corner there. Um, and you have to do the long jump first so you have enough speed, because a long jump gives you more speed than just doing a normal walking triple jump. Oops. It's okay if we die, uh, because we'll respawn at that flagpole, which is basically where we were a second ago. Not a big problem. See? We have to clean up the area a little bit again, but that's not a problem either. Now we just bop you on the head and easy peasy. There we go. Okay. Oh. 
Land down here, okay. So yeah, um, we're trying to do a triple jump off that very corner, is what I, what I already said, so yeah. It's a little tricky to time, I did manage to pull it off before though, so I'm sure I can do it again. It's gonna clean up a little bit, there we go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, nearly, nearly. It, it is tricky. It is very tricky. Um, but apparently it's it's reproducible enough that you can just do it in speed runs instead of doing the slightly slower thing of taking the flower path instead. So I don't know. Like I'm pretty sure they still get this moon in speed runs. So you're not skipping a cutscene or anything. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is necessary by the way, there are several moons we cannot reach without going over there, and we can't, um, use the story moon to go over there because that's the restriction we put on ourselves. So we do have to do it this way. Yeah, there's quite a large number of moons over there, I'd say... Th Actually, yeah, all three that we need. Wow, okay. There we go, yes! <laughs> uh, now you want to be very careful, because if you die over here, you're going to have to do that again. Uh, just make your way over here. Get on this thing. Uh, you're safe once you get to here, because it doesn't fall. Break this to get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, then we push this button. There, there are other ways to do this. You don't have to push the button, you can just jump down, but we get some coins this way and it's safer. Uh, you push this button as well. I'm taking this slowly just in case I mess up again. Um, so yeah, there's two more moons we need. There happen to be two moons inside this tower here, so we should be able to pull this off without any trouble. However, to get one of them, I think we'll probably need to use an uproot, which is a bit sad because we haven't used any uproots so far. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to do it without the uproot. There might be? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I'll do what I can uprootless, and then we'll use one if we need to. There we go. So yeah, another one of these nuts. Uh, this one we can do without an uproot, no problem. Because we can just ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, use wall jumps and stuff, easy peasy. Uh, then for the second one. Oops. Well, that's awkward. I'm not doing so well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you mostly don't need these flower pods in, in here, you can climb up without them. Uh, they're basically here so that the uproots can get up because they can't jump as well as Mario. Uh, I'm accidentally activating them anyway. It's annoying. There we go. Okay, so the other moon we want to get is at the top of this bit. Uh, you can see the shadow there? The moon is way up there. I think you can reach that without actually using an uproot. I just can't figure out how. Um, Cause you can see, even with like the best triple jump I can manage, that's not nearly enough height. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Uh, I'll head out and get the checkpoint here. Uh, obviously we can't do the actual boss battle here because that would be a story moon. Uh, it's the wrong one, but it is a story moon. I don't know if we can actually activate it yet, to come to think of it. Right, I'll check that in a second once we've gotten the last actual moon. 
So yeah, I think just using an uproot here is pretty much the, the way to do it, because I can't really see any other way to get up there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we just slide down here and get an uproot. It's not too tricky. Uproot's nice and fast. I mean, they're not that fast, but, you know, they climb pretty quick. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And it's all the wounds we needed. Uh, I'm just gonna go see if the boss works works or not. I'm actually gonna fight because that would be a story moon, but I wanna see if it deactivates like some of the other story moons when you do them out of order. It does! Look, no boss. The boss battle should be activating now I'm standing here, but it's not happening because I didn't do the previous story moon. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, got all the moons we needed. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, we could have gone to the deep woods to get one that way. Uh, we could have gone to the shop, which is just over there to get one. We didn't do either of those things. And I'm pretty proud of us, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think next time I guess I'll do something with the Cloud Kingdom battle. M maybe I'll do it with one Joy-Con like I did with the other boss battle. The, like, ending one. I don't know, maybe. I'll think about it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this was cool. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the little straps and stuff I pulled off. <laughs>